Hi all, welcome you all to Econometrica. Now we will discuss rapid revision in module 2. We will discuss MCQ questions in the module 2. National income includes only the value of final goods and services to avoid double counting. One item, multiple time will add in the problems. Final value of the goods and services we will add. In the classical model, full employment is achieved due to and the right answer is price mechanism and flexible wages. Hence rejected the classical idea of. And the right answer is all of the above. That is say slow, flexible wages, demand efficiency. The highest curve represents the equilibrium in the. And the right answer is option B, goods market. The LM curve becomes steeper when. And the right answer is money demand is less sensitive to interest rate. Physical policy is more effective than monetary policy in the ISLM framework when the LM curve is the right answer is horizontal. The Mundell Fleming model is an extension of the ISLM model in and the right answer is open economy. Under fixed exchange rate, monetary policy is the right answer is ineffective. Under the Mundell Fleming model, physical policy is more effective under the right answer is fixed exchange rate. Consumption function expresses a relationship between and the right answer is option B, consumption and disposable income. According to Keynes, the marginal propensity to consume lies between 0 and 1. Life cycle hypothesis suggests that consumption depends on the right answer is expected lifetime income. The consumption puzzle refers to the right answer is the difference between Short run and long run consumption income behavior. In behavioral macroeconomics, one important deviation from rational expectations is the right answer is sticky prices. The ISLM model assumes that the price level is and the right answer is constant in the short run. The permanent income hypothesis by Milton Friedman suggests that the right answer is option B. Consumption depends on average income over time. The life cycle hypothesis of consumption emphasizes that right answer is people plan their consumption over their lifetime. According to Keynes, investment depends mainly on repeated interest rate and marginal efficiency of capital. In the neoclassical investment theory, investment is influenced by the right answer is option C, user cost of capital and marginal product of capital. The accelerator theory of investment states that the right answer is option C. Investment depends on the rate of change of output. According to classical economists, business cycles are the right answer is option C due to supply side shocks. Keynesian theory attributes business cycles to the right answer is option B. Fluctuations in aggregate demand. A recession is typically characterized by the right answer is option B, declining output and rising unemployment. Next question, the phase of the business cycle where GDP is increasing rapidly is called, the right answer is expansion. During the peak of a business cycle, the right answer is economic activity is at its maximum. Cost push inflation is caused by, the right answer is option C, increase in production cost. The Phillips curve shows a trade-off between the right answer is option C, inflation and unemployment. Tagflation is a condition of the right answer is option A, high inflation and high unemployment. A rightward shift in aggregate demand leads to the right answer is option B, higher output and employment. In the aggregate demand and supply model, the long-run aggregate supply curves and the right answer is option B, vertical. In the short run, aggregate suppliers, the right answer is option C, upward sloping. Business cycle fluctuations are, the right answer is option C, periodic but not regular. The primary goal of counter cyclical physical policy is to, the right answer is option C, reduce fluctuations in GDP. An increase in inflation expectation will, a right answer is option C, 
shift the short run aggregate supply curve leftward. According to real business cycle theory, fluctuations in output are primarily due to. The right answer is option B, supply side technological shock. Paul Samuelson is known for integrating. The right answer is option B, Keynesian theory with mathematical economics. Where Hicks contributed to? Right answer is ISLM model. Calder's theory emphasizes. The right answer is income distribution and savings behavior. The multiplier concept explains how the right answer is option B. Initial spending leads to greater total income. The accelerator principle suggests that the right answer is option C. Investment rises with the rate of change in income or output. The Great Depression of 1930 was characterized by the right answer is option C. Massive unemployment and demand collapse. 2008 financial crisis began primarily due to the right answer is option B subprime mortgage lending. According to classical economist unemployment is right answer is temporary and self correcting The Keynesian approach to unemployment emphasizes right answer is option C demand side management. The monetary school argues that inflation is caused by the right answer is option B excessive money supply growth. According to Phillips curve, there is a trade-off between and the right answer is option B, inflation and unemployment. The expectations augmented Phillips curve shows that in the long run, answer is option A, there is no trade-off between inflation and unemployment. Sacrifice ratio measures, the answer is option A, percentage of GDP lost to reduce inflation by 1%. Hawkins law relates, right answer is unemployment and output. So friends, there are 50 questions on a rapid fire. Chai dit or your module we will be discussing 50 questions. So thank you.